Russian bands from Volga region. <laughs>
to take a little break and then do some more or yes. just... Yes. Yes. for arranging that for us. Can we can we give a thanks? And I also want to thank Eugene Magazine, who is our media sponsor throughout the year. So give them some love as well. So the Lane Arts Council puts on the first Friday art walk all year round, rain or extreme shine like tonight. How many people, how many is this your first Friday, first first Friday art walk? Excellent, we got some newbies, we love it. So you really have some options tonight. We have a guided tour which differentiates our art walk from other art walks. And tonight, Janelle McCoy from the Oregon Bach Festival is going to be hosting so she is going to be leading you around to five different stops and interviewing the artists along the way. Can you help me welcome her? Thank you. Thanks for having me tonight. Um, and Sergei, thank you so much. Uh, Sergei has a long relationship with the festival. Our uh, artistic director, our founding artistic director, Helmut Reeling, heard him and his group trio, uh, trio Gordesh in Russia, in fact, no, not in, no, Germany, exactly. in Germany, in Germany, um, and and convinced you all to move over. And um, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's, oh, tell, let's tell the story. So they just invited us to play uh, the Oregon Bar Festival, and because of that, late, uh, later we decided to move to Eugene because we had lots of friends. <laughs> Thank you. And, and listening to your daughter, too, that was just oh, yeah. a real treat. So, Masha, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight. Um, uh, some of you may know, I moved to Eugene with my, with my spouse about a year and a half ago to take this job with the festival. And uh, I moved from Philadelphia, where I was the executive director of an orchestra. And before I was executive director of the orchestra, I was executive director of a massive chorus there. So the Bach Festival was a perfect fit, in, in my opinion. And so we, we came west, as so many people do. Um, and tonight, this is our first stop here at the Lincoln Gallery. And we're going to talk to a few artists and um, curators of what you're seeing tonight. And uh, when I was seeing the preview images, in fact, I was um, excited because I thought I saw a voodoo donut back there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a clay repl replica, and if anything says Eugene, it's certainly voodoo donuts. Um, so let me introduce you to uh, Jamie Walsh, who is the program director. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, this, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Lincoln Gallery is part of Oregon Supported Living Programs Arts and Culture Program. So we support adults with developmental disabilities, um, but the Arts and Culture Program is unique because it's open to any adult in the community. So we do a lot of workshops, classes, mentorships, and exhibitions. 
And the exhibition we have tonight is opening, um, it's called Feast. And I'm here with Angela, who is the marketing director for the Lane County Farmers Market. So this was a partnership between OSLP Arts and Culture and the Farmers Market. And um, in total, over this exhibition was open to the community, so we have folks that we support um, making artwork, and then also folks from the community. And there's over 40 artists who submitted work to the show. Um, and I'll let Angela talk a little bit more about uh, why we did this. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. I love you, Jean, so much. Uh, I grew up here, and food has always been important for as long as I've been alive here in Eugene. Food and art are kind of two of the most precious things about our community. And so for me, it was a natural collaboration. I think that there's something very beautiful that happens at the market every week that is yet to be articulated completely. And to me, the only people that are going to be able to do that are artists. And so we reached out to OSLP to do this because they serve the entire community, we serve the entire community, and it seemed like a, a great fit. And so this is our first year of doing this. We hope to do it again next year as well. And it, we called it Feast because we have the uh, third annual Farmer's Market Feast, which is an annual farm-to-table dinner that happens down on our site at Park Ave um, between 7th and 8th, uh, August 27th. It's a Sunday and doors open at 4.30. It'll be a fun time. We'll have, we have an enormous banquet table filled with food, the bounty of the season that's made by some of our vendors. Um, and we have drinks and music and stuff to do, so it's a lot of fun. Um, so we hope you join us there. You can find information about that on our website at lanecountyfarmersmarket.org. And then also, we've really been trying to bring a more artistic view to the photos that we take at market and we've been um, getting some great feedback and some engagement from our images on Instagram so you might want to check that out too and that's at Lane County Farmers Market um, and then also mine is more what to do with all that food that you get at the market and so you can follow my Instagram as well at LC Farm to Table and so I think Jamie you're gonna and that we had a photo contest as part of this um, exhibit, and I'm going to turn it back over to Jamie okay. to talk about that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Um, um, if you, right when you walk in here on this table, our submissions to our hashtag feast contest, um, this little pillar right here. Um, so if anybody submitted to that, Con come find me or Angela because we have some awards and some prizes and gift certificate type things for you. Um, and then, you want to take it from here? Sure. <laughs> so when I walked in tonight, I was looking at some of the images, for example, over on that wall. Uh, they're just so, I was struck by how vibrant the colors are, which reminds me of when I'm going through the market on Saturday morning. It's, it's like, what do you not take home? It's really hard to choose, you know, all the amazing produce. I've been really struck by that since moving here. The bounty that we have in Eugene and Lane County, and in fact, at the Bach Festival, we've been trying to connect more with those assets and those riches here in, in Lane County. In fact, on Monday, we're starting uh, doing something called an excursion where we're going to three wineries out in wine country, and we're pairing the wine with food by uh, Party Downtown and music from our historically informed performance academy, Berwick Academy. And so all of those will be highly cur curated. It's a progressive... Um, concert, I'm calling it, and so it's to highlight, uh, you know, the produce and the food and uh, the wine here in this area, which is most impressive. In fact, if you don't know this, Wine Enthusiast Magazine just named Willamette Valley as the wine region in the world this year. So that's that's something to celebrate. Those Pinot Noirs are, are good stuff, people. Um, Great, so I think that uh, we are now going to introduce Jacob Smith. Um, Jacob, uh, can you tell us about the art that's in the community room? Yes. Thank you. So I have not related to this show, um, the show here in the community room, which is separate. Um, and it has all to do with a trip I took to New York City last August during a heat wave. Um, and there's a little statement there, so if I misrepresent myself, you can correct me. Um, I was just going to talk about the process. They're all gel prints. 
Um, I've taught, I've had a mentorship with um, gel prints here. Um, and what they are is it's a cheap economical way to make prints using gel medium on a canvas or any surface and then taking Xeroxes and transferring the ink. Um, it also allows you to use underpainting, overpainting. So I played around a lot with that. I learned a lot. And thanks for the opportunity here to show them. questions for uh, either Jamie or Angela or Jacob or, or anything else that you're seeing in here. Any other questions? Well, great. I think in about five minutes or four minutes, we'll be heading to our next stop, which is Capitello Wines, which is just around the corner. Um, thank you. And uh, join me outside in a few minutes. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.